I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. The purpose is to practice decision making through the Charleston, which is when players exchange tiles to help improve the dealt hand. If you make the right choices at the right time, you could be a contender or maybe even a front runner. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three pulls. We're going to start with dealer, then non-dealer, and then dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have a joker, flower, pair four, pair seven in dots, one four five in cracks, one five eight in bams, pair five, pair eight. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? This would be very challenging because we have four, five consecutive pairs and seven, eight consecutive pairs. We wouldn't be able to use both sets. So what I would do is hold four, five and seven, eight, and then pass those three and see what comes in. Four dot five, I don't, I don't like passing like numbers. I would maybe be con I would maybe consider holding the five crack, but I don't like passing like numbers. I think it's almost as risky as passing a pair. So I would, I would probably pass that. So let's see which of these comes in. We got the five crack. Okay, well, let's keep it. And then here we have a two, two, four, eight, no six. I think I would let the five crack go because if we get a six bam, we could play two, four, six, eight in two suits. Okay, we have a dragon, two dragons actually. We have one tile we can pass. White dragon, two, four, four, five, seven, eight. I think I would let one of the dragons go and then probably the two and stick with it. We have a green dragon and a seven crack. Seven, eight, green dragon. I would let them go. Actually, you know what? Here's a south. Maybe we could play news concealed. I would not pass the, this though. I wouldn't do that. We're gonna keep going. Sixes, six, seven, four, six, eight. Here's a six and a one. Four, six, seven, five, eight, six. Five, four, six. Four, five, six. I think what I would do is pass those three because we have a hand here now. Actually, you know what? We could even do that. 
All right, let's see which one builds. Four dot, four, five, six, or maybe even the four, five quint, seven, two, seven, two. I think I would let an eight go. We could still do five, six, seven. Four cracks, six dot, six dot, six, seven, four, six, seven, four. There's two, four, six, two, four, six, four, six, eight. Two, four, eight, two, four, four, six, eight, even hand, but we could still do, let's see, four, five, six. I think I would keep all these tiles and ask for one. No keepers. If somebody ever asks for one tile, decline. Just say, I think I'll keep what I have because if they're really close to a hand, you could give them a really valuable tile. In this case, we're in between. If you would have done something different with these wacky tiles, write, pull one in the comment section below and tell me what you would have done. We have a flower, green dragon, red dragon, seven, bam, five, seven, eight, nine in cracks, pair seven, pair eight, five, six, seven in dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start here, seven, eight. We have five through nine. That's really our only discard because we could do seven, eight dragon, or if we get a six crack, we could do six through nine with dragons. We could also do five through nine. Here's five, six, seven. Let's say we let that go. Seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight. I would not discard those though. That would be risky. So I'd probably let the five go and keep that for now. Pass these three. Red dragon, that's a multiple. I would build around that, so I'd let these go. So let's do two, nine, with a six. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, dragon. Here's a multiple. We really don't need that. Because we're, we have three multiples, I think I would break that up. We wanna, we want to optimize our potential so we want to get as many tiles as we can. That's why I broke up the pair. Three crack. We have a seven, eight, so we don't need threes. Let's break up the threes past the four and the seven. So we went right across left. This is going second left. We just gave them a seven dot, so we're not going to do that again. We'll give them a five.
no keepers. Here's a three dot. With that same idea, I'd probably break that up. Flower. I think I would do one of each suit. No keepers. We need seven, eight dragon flower. I would just discard these. Full pass. No keepers. Oh, look, we ended up with that pair back. So that would be Joker Bait. If you want to know more about Joker Bait, look for a link in the video description below on Joker Tactics. I would focus on 7-8 Dragon, but if we get a 6 crack, maybe even the Concealed Hand. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with Pull 2. We have a pair of red dragons, two, three, five, six, nine in cracks, pair three, six dot, one bam, four, five, six, pair six for bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first discards? When I first saw these tiles, I immediately thought 369. With or without the dragons. There are options with offsuit dragons in 369. And then I thought if 369 doesn't come in, maybe a year hand, 2 3 dragon. So I would start by discarding those three. Focus on 369, maybe a year hand. Seven. I don't think I would keep that. Three, six, nine of some kind. Maybe we could even use this dragon. Three, six, nine dragon. Three, three, two. Okay, now here's the year hand potential. Two, three, two, three, dragon. Two, three, two, dragon. Three, six, nine with dragons. Three, six, nine with dragons. Hmm. Three six, three six, three six. Hmm. We do have some potential for the pair hand. Three six pair hand. Three six, three six, three six, three six nine, one nine. And then we have twos. Oh, this is a challenging one here. I think I would let the dragon go and keep the two. Or, well, I don't like passing like numbers. So we have this pair of white dragons. So probably I would let the six dot go. We're on fir first left. We could pass blind, but we don't even know what hand we're playing. So I wouldn't do that. I would sacrifice something. Oh my gosh, I hope nobody would ever pass that. Two, two, three, here's the two, three, three, two, two, 
dragon. Two, three, three, two, three, six, nine. We have only one nine. I think I would switch to a year hand. Let's see. Year two, three. We have no flowers. So probably I would break up the six and pass the nine and switch. This is why it's good to really consider the second Charleston because we're going to switch our hand mid, mid Charleston. So fresh tiles are going to go around. And because we didn't get very many, well, we didn't get any nines. I think we could maybe gather up year tiles. Let's just see what happens. But don't assume that you're going to get only the same tiles in that second Charleston. Let's see what happens now. Okay, we have a dragon. Four, eight. Now we have two, three, four. Two, three, four. Two, three, three. Six, eight. The year hand with dragons uses four flowers. We'd have to throw away a pair. I think I would let that dragon go. Let's see if we could do either two, three, four, or maybe a year hand here with the white dragons. We finally got a nine, but we let that go. Look what we have here though. Five dot, two, three, four, five. East can go two, three, three, six, three, nine. I would let those go. Focus on these. Flower. Eight, one, two, three, four, five, dragon, three, crack, joker bait. I think I would let the three bam go. Use this for joker bait and pass these three. No keepers, but look what we got a two. Two, three, two, three, two. And we got the green dragon back. I'd say we have one discard and either two through five concealed with the white dragons or a year hand. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull three in the comment section below and let me know what you would have done with these tiles. This would be a really interesting one to play, play out. If you want to measure your results after the Charleston, consider this guideline. If you have four tiles at the end of the Charleston and you know what category you're playing and maybe you even know what hand you're playing, you could be a contender for that game. If you have more than four discards, you will likely be an underdog and you're going to have to draw really well and watch the discards and exposures very carefully to continue developing your hand. If you have less than four discards, you could be a front runner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.